Hello football fans, my name is David Buck and I'm pleased to be joined by head football coach uh, Rob Keyes who's going to share some insight on uh, the Oilers' upcoming football season. Ready to go, David. I know you are, Coach. Uh, you, you work with a lot of passionate people. They love their jobs. Today's the first day of practice. How excited are you to get rolling? Very. And the big thing, you mentioned it, it's people. It's not just me, it's a great staff. I mean, the guys in this staff are so excited about uh, getting a chance to make young men better men. And they do it on a daily basis in all aspects. So, uh, you know, we're excited to start practice. Uh, we don't get too far ahead of ourselves because, you know, the first practice is not going to really tell you a whole lot, but uh, it's really trusting the process and, and sticking to it day by day and getting in position to play September 5th. All right, now offensively, you guys have uh, built a program that is known for a solid running game with the ability to hit big plays in the passing game. What are you looking for out of that unit this year? More. more. You're always going more, you know that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we've been very successful offensively the last four seasons. Uh, we've put up big numbers, but uh, we need to be more consistent with those big numbers. I would love to average 50 points a game and 500, and we're close to that mark, but not quite there. Uh, we're better when we're balanced. You know, you mentioned the running attack, and yes, we've had some great rushing uh, attacks you know, prior to 2015, and we're going to build off of that. But at the same time, we're best on offense when we're balanced. Now, now defensively, you've always had some standout talent, but you know, maybe you're lacking a little bit in depth in years past, but. You know, one thing that stands out to me is, is kind of uh, the new guys and some of the young guys that have improved on the defensive line. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, the defense, you know, they've played well at times. There's no doubt over the last four seasons, we've shown what possible defense could be at this place. And, and the standard that we want is very high. You know, we want to be the best defense in the country. And, uh, you know, we have a whole new defensive staff, as well as a lot of new defensive faces. And, you know, new is sometimes good. And we're really excited about piecing, the, the, you know, getting this puzzle put together with all the pieces we have. And it's going to be very interesting in camp because it's the first time where there's competition from, from the front all the way to the back. Yes, you mentioned the defensive line. We have quite a few newcomers uh, on the D-line. And, and it's going to play out. But good defensive lines play with more than just one D. You know, you'd be able to roll that second group in, even that third group in. So we're going to stick to the process. And uh, we're going to keep putting those guys in the right position to make us the best total defense as a team. You know, defense is about team. It's about all 11 guys doing their job on every single play. All right, now, one of the things that, that you uh, are known for as a coach is being able to gamble and successfully turn trick plays on special teams. And uh, just give you a little thoughts on uh, special teams and, and that uh, preseason All-American kicker you got coming back. Yeah, I mean, special teams-wise, we treat it no different than offensive defense. The same amount of time, the same amount of effort goes into that unit because it's just as important part to winning as offense and defense. Uh, we're going to utilize our best players, which we always do, and uh, we want to be aggressive. We want teams to have to defend and have to really take time in their practice to, to know that if, if you show something, we're going to take advantage of it and, and hopefully capitalize and make a big play. Uh, yes, we returned Tyler Bujea, uh, preseason All-American, was 14 of 15 on field goals last year. and. You know, had a great spring. So, you know, it, it's always nice to have that weapon. You know, when, hey, we cross the 25-yard line, we can score three points. All right, Coach, now last thing here is what are, what are your expectations for this team this year? You, you know, David, that, that question's been asked to me since uh, I took office, I guess, in 2011 as the head coach. And myself and this staff, our expectations are simple on the field. And that's to win every game. There's never a game that we're not going to prepare absolutely as hard as we possibly can to win that, that football game. So our expectations are win, win game number one. And, and once that's completed, you know, we'll look forward and go from there. But uh, expectations are high. The standard is high. And uh, we're looking forward to, to moving forward because, you know, we're, we're given one day. And, and if you look at the motto of this team, that's win the day. And uh, we're going to continue to stand on that foundation and, and win each day. And hopefully the culmination and accumulation of winning all those days, they're going to lead to wins on the field and, and most importantly, making these guys better people and ultimately, you know, get them through that arch on graduation. All right, Coach. Well, thanks and uh, I'm glad you get to get rolling here okay. so you can actually get back into the coaching room. Sounds good. Thanks. Appreciate it. And that's the 2015 Oilers football preview. Remember to uh, check the athletic website at athletics.finley.edu for more information on the football team and the other sports here at Finley.